Where is Poppy? Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we're going to talk about some rainbow high news. We got a ton of reveals, leaks, stock photos of the upcoming fashion packs. Yes, a first ever in rainbow high history. We have finally some fashion packs, but are they any good? Um, then we have our first look at some of the uh, stock photos for the, for the swim and style dolls. We also have a couple of stock photos um, for the core slime dolls, which are actually called series Six. and yes seems poppy is still nowhere to be found and there is no wrist articulation anymore as well so let's get into it first up we have these swim and style dolls these are going to be budget dolls retailing at 14.99 including you know violet skylar ruby and sunny now we don't have a link or stock photos for sunny so we're only going to be able to take a look at the other three girls um and yes so there are links on youloveit.com uh you can click on them and that's where the stock photos are probably from before they got taken down again uh, because the links don't really work right now it just shows that they're unavailable but again they are supposed to release early january so next month which is insane um so i'm assuming that they'll you know be up and working uh shortly again and then we'll also see you know sunny's stock photos because again right now we don't have her pictures only the ones for the other girls and even then these stock photos i got from youloveit.com and you know Ash and Silverstone on Instagram, you know, various sources. Um, and I never got the stock photos directly from the website, you know, with the Amazon link. So, um, you know, and then here are the boxes. Uh, they're very sleek. They're very, uh, you know, simple, which makes sense. Again, budget dolls for $14.99. Um, and I find it curious, you know, I like the design of the names on the side for each character. Uh, it's 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 cool. Um, they did change the, you know, name tag with the hearts being there instead of like the focused or their major. Um, and also uh, the, the logo, the slogan has changed. It's now... Uh, shine brighter together instead of you know let your true colors shine so i wonder why they changed the slogan because like i mean they could have they could have kept it like it really doesn't differ too much um but i guess it makes sense that they would change a lot uh to fit this new generation of rainbow high because this really is starting to feel like um gen 2 rainbow high with the new boxes the new dolls the new designs the new direction that it seems they're gonna go in so um yeah okay so let's take a look at ruby here first um they are each in a simple bathing suit uh which is one piece and then we have this special like fabric piece it's like a towel almost that's actually very versatile uh you're supposed to be able to um use it in like different ways to create different looks for the doll uh but i'm curious like what it is there like a mechanism <laughs> to this piece of fabric because it looks like a square to me with no velcro or anything um so it really just looks like you're just supposed to like tie it around uh and like drape it onto the doll but there's no actual like fastener or closure to keep it in a certain style if you know what i mean um so i'm curious if there's like a specific way to use it or if it's just like it's just fabric that's just what it is there's nothing special to it um and kids just can't get creative with how to use the fabric on the doll I don't know it feels a li little bit like they could have put some velcro on the fabric to like make it make it easier to close um because if you're supposed to knot it every time i mean this fabric will probably get really wrinkled really quickly and you know probably it won't last long it, and it's also not really big like that's the thing it's not it's not a huge square of fabric it's, it's really small considering you're supposed to be able to do all these things with it so um anyways sorry she also comes with a purse which is plastic uh a pair of shoes and sunglasses and i don't know if the shoes are reused i believe that's the same mold that brianna came with but here they're all in one color uh then the sunglasses i believe are a new mold or maybe they're coco's mold of sunglasses i'm not sure but she looks cute the base doll of ruby is fine nothing special the face is fine the hair is fine um and of course she's a budget doll so they're not gonna have any elbow or um knee articulation next we have violet and she's really cute um i don't know why but i like her base doll like the hairstyle is very sleek um just some straight hair just like the middle part 
parting um i like it i think it i don't know it just looks really cute on her um the makeup's very simple um the lips um also i wonder if they're using like the updated um you know face sculpts for these new dolls um to make their eyes a little bit smaller because uh, the eyes do look like the face looks a little bit different um and then for her the same jig we have you know the bathing suit one piece and then we have you know the the piece of fabric that you're supposed to wrap around her with or use as a towel or as a skirt or as a wrap around poncho makeshift piece i again it's like um it doesn't really tell you how to keep it in certain poses or certain places um it just feels like you're supposed to take a lot of creative liberties you know <laughs> to make it look certain ways um but yeah she's cute the purse is plastic again the sunglasses and the shoes the shoes are i believe just a recolor of pinkley's shoes you know the, the jelly shoes uh which are super cute they fit perfectly here with the theme but the sunglasses i believe are new because they look really big and chunky so yeah i think she's cute she's really cute for 14.99 i think it's a good price but even then i wouldn't be like that's worth it because you know i think most people will get these at on sale for like five bucks or something um because she does have potential with the base doll and like these pieces are are good but is it really worth 14.99 like if you really think about it like i don't know but that's just that's that's personal opinion anyways so. and lastly for now we have skylar of course again sunny is missing but here's skylar um and she looks really cute i love the bathing suit um i mean the, the uh, people have been really hating on the bathing suit and i get it it's a print it's not it's not the best kind of denim print um but it is supposed to be a print on a bathing suit like it's not supposed to be real denim um i think it's deliberately supposed to look like a print um because it is a bathing suit and you wouldn't realistically go you wouldn't go swimming in a denim bathing suit i don't even think that they exist so um it's a print like on purpose it's looking like that so i think that's fine um but it also you know is it like is is denim like skylar's thing like forever now <laughs> like, is, is that all she's gonna ever have um to her um is that gonna be her personality forever just denim prints um i wonder you know because i feel like the print does it even make sense like i feel like there could have been a different print used here for like the beach like going swimming doll like, you know like it just doesn't really make sense but it's fine um it's a simple bathing suit uh, the wraparound piece again the same fabric from the others just in blue here the sunglasses i believe is a new mold um i like them the bag probably a new mold as well and then the shoes um look new to me but i feel like they might be kim's mold but just again in a jelly blue tone so yeah i think she's fine the base doll is cute um but i think i don't know for once i think it would have been interesting to see her with like straight hair um because she always seems to have wavy hair and so. lastly for sunny we have the artwork here from the back of the box where it seems that they're going to be using like a flower motif for her you know bathing suit and also for her sunglasses and she's also going to have some kind of variation of the jelly shoes um i think she looks really cute overall i think they fulfill their purpose they they are budget dolls they're cheaper more accessible uh they're probably better to customize on and i can totally see collectors grabbing these on sale to get specific pieces or again to customize on um or to harvest you know legs or eyes or whatever you know because that's how customization goes um so i i think these have potential these are these these have longevity in that sense um design wise i think they're safe they're cute they're fine i think the gimmick is really just the wrapping around of the towel and like how you're supposed to create completely new looks but again if there's no like fasting or mechanism to how to keep this piece of fabric in certain places like i think that's a little bit bad because like then it's just gonna wobble around and flop off the doll in a second right it's, there's no belt to attach it also so i think like there's no efficient way to keep it in certain places to create a outfit for the doll so that's a little bit of a you know uh blind um like that's that's not really good designing but uh if that's the intention right but i think that's fine you know it's it's again these are budget they're cheap they they fulfill their purpose of being played with in a bath bathtub or whatever um but i do think you know for for a swimming line 
uh, they could have added Poppy because like, wasn't she raised like near the beach? Like that would have made more sense character wise. But I guess, you know, we'll talk about the lack of Poppy in a second. <laughs> Moving on, we have fashion packs. Surprise, we're getting fashion packs. So yeah, that was a surprise definitely for me. I never thought we would get fashion packs like this. But yeah, we're getting six brand new fashion packs. They're going to retail at eight bucks. Um, and they each have a specific theme and doll that they're advertised on the packaging to go with. But of course, you can probably use these on any doll that's just the one that they're using on the packaging to kind of like show off the design so let's take, let's take a look at each of these um individually yeah because we actually have a, a picture here of the whole gang together sporting uh you know these fashion packs uh so starting off with ruby who is wearing the pajama set um she has the hair clips in her hair she's holding the hair straightener or hair crimper that comes with the fashion pack um then the pajama is like a two-piece it has the same print and then we have the slippers that have like a teddy bear uh, mold on the front. So yeah, I think it's it's a good, it's a decent pajama design. Um, I think it works on any doll because the, the print is in a rainbow gradient. So that's smart. Um, and I like the accessories of like the hair crimper, the hair clips. The shoes are a new mold, so that's, that's fun. That's cool. That's cute. Um, yeah, do I like how it looks on the doll? I mean, it's, it's a little bit baggy, but I guess, you know, it's a pajama. So it's supposed to be comfortable, like whatever. Um, the design, I, I don't know. I wish it would have been a little bit more interesting, but I get it. It's a simple design. It works. It's fine. So here we have Sunny sporting the um, the skating fit and uh, it looks really cute. Um, I think the headphones are, are good. Again, keep in mind, some of these are also reused, uh, recycled mold of the OMG dolls. Like the backpack is a re recycle from the OMG dolls. Definitely, it's like very small. Uh, but it works here. I like the pastels from the outfit, the cropped shirt, the shorts, um, the over knee socks, the skates, which are um, a new mold, I believe. We haven't seen these before, so that's cute. That's fun. Um, and then the headphones, again, uh, maybe a new mold, maybe not. Uh, either way, I think the design is fine and it works on Sunny. And I think it'll work also, again, on like other dolls because there's like a, there's a gradient here of colors. So that's also again smart and um i think also like sunny here by the way we gotta keep in mind um the dolls that are modeling these outfits do not come obviously with the outfits and these are the dolls that are actually going to be sold um separately as the you know new slime series six core dolls so these are going to be the ones that come with the pets so um and we actually have stock photos of those and they're you know how they're going to come with everything later on so uh but yeah just keep in mind these dolls they don't come they don't dolls aren't included um and the dolls you see here they're they are going to be the ones so different separately you know as the new um core slime surprise dolls with the pets um and i guess they're labeling these as series six so that's interesting um even though these are the same characters but i guess because it's a new generation um they're calling it series six i don't know next we have jade um she is sporting d uh pep rally fit so um there she is you know um and she looks she that the outfit is again really simple but it, it's kind of like com combining different um you know from the cheerleading line different kind of like designs from that line um and just combining it combining it into one design that works again for multiple dolls because there's a ra rainbow you know gradient going on here except for the pom-poms which are you know green so it's really tied into jade in that aspect but also she comes with like a foam foam finger whatever um and the shoes are a new mold i heard i don't know they look new they could be old um but yeah i think it's a, it's a cute little outfit um definitely next we have skylar wearing a deep pool theme fashion pack so i like the bathrobe piece you know it's like very long it's very flowy um i like the printing and the colors that are you that are used here it's very bright um the purse bag whatever it's uh, plastic that looks different that looks like a new mold to me but it could be old or recycled from a different uh doll line um the coconut drink could also be recycled perhaps um but that's a fun little accessory um the shoes i think i recognize them they might be a recycle but even then still used efficiently um and then underneath the bathrobe i can't really see but it looks like she's wearing a white uh one-piece bathing suit uh and that looks that that's a versatile piece so that's that's 
that's cool. Um, and then the sunglasses are also a fun addition. Next, we have Violet wearing the dance, like ballet inspired kind of outfit. Now, it's not really ballet ballet because um, she's wearing heels. <laughs> And uh, she's also holding this this like um, twirl but baton thingy with like a ribbon at the end. Um, I forget what it's called, but like that's like a type of sport where you dance and twirl that stick around. Um, so I think it's more like taking inspiration from that um, specifically, but also like ballet with the tutu. So it's like a it's a mash of it's like a mash of both things. Um, but yeah, it's a, the, the tutu is like very cute. Um, it's very sparkly, um, very structured, which is good. Um, the the top seems to have some sparkles, gems. No, so, oh yeah, I don't think. You know what? Yeah, I just realized we're probably not gonna get a lot of gems or pearls glued onto clothing anymore um, this time around. Unfortunately, it looks like, but um, it's it's just glitter. So yeah, and then the accessory, the crown is fun. Again, the little stick with the ribbon. Uh, the ribbon isn't like really long so i feel like in the like if it were longer i think that would make more sense because then it's like it can actually like twirl around um and then the bag is cute and then we also have a little pamphlet and the shoes again are heels um but they look like you know ballet flats that are like you know tied up so yeah really cute i think leg warmers would have been really cute as well um but and yeah. lastly we have amaya sporting the you know quote dance party um look like like a party look yeah party look um yeah it's pink it's a lot of tutu tutu uh mesh sorry i mm, tool sorry, that's what i meant <laughs> it's a lot of tool um on the skirt uh portion it's layered which is good because that means that they've used enough fabric um they're not cheaping out um the gradient uh, ombre effect of like dark pink to light pink is is cute i appreciate that on the sleeves as well um i don't like i don't know if i love the sleeves because they're really poofy and big um but they're they're cute um and then the the bodice portion is is fun it's a little bit gathered in the middle um to create like a heart-shaped uh, neckline and then she includes a, a, a present looking bag, which looks new to me. Um, and then also like a makeup palette. Yeah, cute. I think this might be a reuse from an OMG doll, but I'm not sure. Um, otherwise, it seems to be a new uh, piece. And then also like the shoes seem to be uh, new, but very simple. So yeah, it's curious how they put Amaya in this dress because it makes her look like Bella. Like I thought this was Bella. <laughs> But it's Amaya. <laughs> it's Amaya's new cordal. Um, so yeah, that's insane. Wow. I wonder if Bella's gonna make it back. <laughs> I mean, we already saw her junior high doll. So I mean, she is back. But like, dang, you know, this is a uh, just. It just looks weird. Um, also, she includes this like um, uh, this kind of like it looks like a like a hair tie or something. So that's interesting. Oh, actually, I think those are just earrings. Yeah, those do, it could be her earrings as well. But yeah, um, that is the whole thing. Those are all the six fashion packs. Um, again, the packaging is cute. We have the artwork on the front. Um, yeah, I think overall they again fulfill their purpose of being fashion packs. Eight bucks is a it's a good deal, um, considering again that they 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 do still have a lot of. It included pieces and shoes and accessories and the clothing isn't like too cheap um so i mean considering like that that's good yes it's good um like if you take a look at barbie fashion packs you, you pay like 10 bucks for like mostly chunks of plastic and like really simple dresses so um this is better compared of course to mattel fashion packs um but still i feel like it's just what we're accustomed to from rainbow high this is definitely just it's a little bit more um safe and yeah it just you know it's just it's more like kid friendly obviously and like that's obviously they're for kids it's dolls so um you know duh of course but um still i feel like this is the designs the color choices um could have been a little bit also more um intriguing you know a little bit more creative uh but for what they are they are definitely uh fulfilling their purpose of just being cheap fashion packs and i definitely see it once again the collectors picking these up on sale uh for specific pieces because again they, they do have a lot of uh promising pieces like that you can use for customization um that 
you hold a lot of value in that sense. So that that is good, definitely. And then we do have two stock photos of the from the new core series lineup, uh, series six. You know, for the new slime dolls. Uh, the first one here was actually I found it from a Zombie X Corin's story um, on Instagram. But I again, I'm not sure where the actual picture came from. If it's from Twitter. Someone posted it there first, um, or what's the case? I don't know. I don't know what I missed, but that's where I saw it first. Jay, where did you find the picture? <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the 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 stock photo here is of Amaya, um, and she looks fine. I guess she really looks like Bella in that pink dress, and because of the the pink, uh, like right in front of her, like right in front, you know, we we can see the pink. It's like very you know, like right in your face. So that's just an interesting fade for like her rainbow do. Um, Cause she has, she still has white majorly. It's just like her sides are like rainbow fied. So interesting. I don't know if I love the hair. It's long. It's, it seems to have tinsel too. Um, yeah, I think people are gonna have a, a, a wild, a rough time with her. Cause she's, she's, she's rough. I don't like her even if, She's supposed to be more kid friendly, the design, whatever. That dress is not cute. Like it's just sequins and it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's shapeless. I don't like it. It's, it's not cute. Um, and then the, the, the denim jacket, like what is she? She's stealing Skylar's look. Like that, that's not fun. That's not okay. That's not cool, am I? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why you do Skylar so dirty? <laughs> um, but yeah, the denim jacket is, is fine, but like, I just don't see Amaya here it just feels like a knockoff off of her um and then the shoes also like the sneakers uh, are jades from series one so um yeah they're just clear and immediately I, I realized that you know you're not you're not actually going to be able to put slime in the shoes um they're just going to look like that way uh you're supposed to put slime into the crystal holder right next to Amaya that's where you're supposed to put the slime in or the pet in um I don't know, but um, yeah, it, it, it comes with like crystal piece, the pet, which seems to be unique to every character, uh, a comb, which is also a new piece, or maybe it's just recycled. Then we have a fabric purse, which is a nice, like, nice touch. Um, and then we also have the actual ingredients for the slime with the glitter and the silver bag and a stand. Thankfully, we're still getting stands uh, because as we can see here, um, yeah, we are no longer getting wrist articulation period for the standard rainbow high doll maybe for like collector dolls for like collector edition dolls we will get like we will get like um wrist articulation you know upper torso articulation chest you know articulation um but as of right now it seems that the wrist articulation has been cut for good so that is a really a and big shame. just you know the last one for now uh we have sunny her news core uh doll and she seems to also have uh tinsel in her hair so that's gonna be again rough time for people who don't love tinsel uh she has her hair in two pigtails uh no bangs just like you know slicked back no curls you know straight hair um some like two tendrils on the sides um and then her outfit here seems to be a mixture of her series one dress the dress is the same but the jacket is a little bit different uh the style is the same but the fabrics used here are different for the actual jacket and then the socks are different but they're still over knees um and then we have the shoes which are the same ones but they are differently colored so yeah she looks the same like from her series one doll like really really similar um the difference here is the hair and the different fabrics that were used for different pieces and the color for the shoes. Um, then for her, she also has the crystal in yellow. She has her pet. She has her bag, which is a nice uh, bag. Again, fabric, I'm assuming. And then she has her slime ingredients. And then her comb and stand are also, again, included and also in um, yellow. So I think she looks fine. She's cute. But... Um, these core dolls will probably cost like 25 something like that so i'm um, just yeah it just feels too similar and like the addition of the pets and the crystal and the slime like it's not, it doesn't really make it worth it to me it's just too different it's just too unnecessary to me personally but again these are supposed to be more aimed at kids so i guess we'll just have to see how well it does but um these are the only stock photos we have right now for the you know from the series Ser series six you know core slime dolls uh i can't wait to see the rest of the collection and also like what's gonna happen with poppy is she never coming back did she die or something <laughs> like, you know if they never make poppy dolls again i'm definitely curious how they're gonna deal with her in the show because like they're gonna have to get rid of her somehow right if they're not if they're if they're ditching her and they're not gonna make dolls of her anymore then 
what are they gonna do in a series to get rid of her? Like, how else would it make sense? So I, I'm confused, yeah, because like Poppy's the orange doll. Where is the orange representation? And like, listen, okay, fine. I mean, I'm gonna miss Poppy, but if they wanna introduce a new orange doll, okay. But then where is this orange doll? Like, this is not Rainbow High without the full rainbow. And this is not, they're missing orange. So it doesn't make sense. Like they, they could have brought back Mina or Michelle, but it's like, nope, no orange at all. Like, girl, even if orange, dolls don't sell as well they cannot neglect the color itself like they gotta introduce an orange doll like they just they cannot just you know ignore orange as a whole and not make any dolls of it anymore like what the mix i'm so I'm, you can tell i'm confused. on top of that amaya looks really pink like bella it just I, I that makes me wonder and that makes me worry about bella herself like if she ever gets a doll a full-size doll because i mean she is going to get a junior high doll but like her full normal size doll like if they ever introduce her again um will she look different because amaya is now really pink like i'm just what is happening you know and then the wrist articulation missing um which is what they also did with the new tweens series and i guess they're also going to do that with the new omg dolls in the future um why why are these budget cuts happening i'm just i don't get it i just i'm it makes me worry like what what is happening where are mj's priorities like cutting budgets but still making it kid friendly like kids care about articulation like that's what i cared about most when i was collecting monster high so like this is i don't i don't love it <laughs> but yeah this really just was like a first look at what's to come next year with the stock photos because obviously we're still missing a lot of stock photos in a way that they came out um they're not the best quality so we still have yet to see the official stock photos actually released um and released for all of the dolls for all of the core dolls for sunny as well for the pajama party girls um and i also saw there's also these listings that popped up for um, a Winter Wonderland doll in pink. What does that mean? I have no clue. It seems to be um, a listing found from the Target website from a worker. Um, I'm not showing it here, but it says literally Rainbow High Winter Wonderland doll in pink. You can see the picture at RH Leaks uh, 3.0. Uh, zero on instagram they posted the picture and i'm just like what does that mean winter wonderland and in, in pink uh, is that bella is that like a collector doll for next year i'm confused um and then we also have a new line that seems to be um called moon bows fashion dolls we have one for purple one for pink one orange and one blue so i mean orange thank god some kind of doll in orange is coming back i hope it's poppy but like, yeah, what does what does this mean? Moon bows. What what is what, what is this? Moon bows. What like archery? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. But I guess again, we'll just have to wait and see what all of this means and um, what's what's to come next year. Because this is really this is just a, a, a taste you know, of what's uh, to come. Let me know what you think down below of these changes, poppy missing, budget cuts, etc. I hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to. And so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.